just gonna do my best here. Um, so for those of you that don't know, there was a mass shooting in Portland, Oregon, a couple of days ago. Um, and the police uh, have been very strange on the details of this mass shooting. Um, and also another individual that loves to work with the police of Portland has also been acting very strange. Um, and so now it was originally reported to be like this dispute with a quote homeowner. I don't know, like that language just doesn't mean like when it comes to a mass shooting, what the... Oh, I'm a homeowner. I don't, doesn't really mean anything to me. Um, and so, uh, Andy No has been tweeting about this feverishly and then also deleting a lot of his tweets, uh, as well. Um, because a lot more information has come out about this shooting. Um, and I want to talk about it here. So here's a tweet from Andy No. Um, Oregonian reports that the man involved in the deadly shootout against Antifa, hashtag, is Benjamin Smith, a 43 year old machinist. So, like, Andy No, given the fact that he is totally a legitimate journalist, wants to come up with a word to describe Benjamin Smith. So he uses the word machinist. Like, has you, have you ever, ever introduced someone, oh yeah, this is my best friend, you know, flip-flop, they're a machinist. Like, who refers to other human beings as, oh yeah, what do you do? Oh, I'm a machinist. And, like, maybe... Maybe, but that's not something you hear often. Uh, anyway, Antifa accounts have been tweeting about him saying he is a right-wing furry who is identified by their furry comrades. Uh, so again, uh, you know, a machinist. So anyway, I got some other tweets here uh, that give us some more details on Benjamin Smith. Uh, and again, these are a lot of threads here and there's a bunch I'm going to um, link all of these in the description when I upload this clip here. Uh, but again, so I want to read this one. The Portland mass shooter has been identified as Ben Smith, 44, as a history of violence and has vocally talked about killing Antifa and BLM protesters in the past. He became more radicalized over the last two years and is a fan of Andy No. Now, again, Andy No tweeted a lot about this mass shooting, saying it's about homeowners, property rights, a bunch of conspiracy theories has since engaged in mass deletion of these tweets now uh, because it turns out the shooter is a fan of his. Uh, ben Smith is not a homeowner. And was uh, and the killing was politically motivated. He was part of the furry community, which has a history of alt right ties. I wouldn't. I disagree with the framing here. Um, like furries are uh, fall all across the political spectrum, though. Uh, to me, him being a furry doesn't. I don't care about that. Like the idea that furries have a history of ties to the alt right. So does literally everything. Like, like, like. I don't know. Like, like. Auto manufacturers have a, a history of ties to the far right. Like, I don't know. To me, it's like a, an irrelevant detail to me. Um, anyway, Portland mass shooter Ben Smith followed Andy No on YouTube. Sources say he's a big fan of No. It is unclear if Ben Smith knew about JFPK uh, march from Andy No. No, which is the march uh, that apparently he shot up. No demonized them as armed extremists that attacked the public. Smith called victims uh, terrorists before opening fires. You can see this is the guy's. Uh, subscriptions, and you can see Andy No is uh, on the list. Portland police made definitive statements about the Portland mass shooter. There weren't important details, but make the shooter look less culpable. Again, the police went out there with a really bizarre press conference. I don't know if you saw it, but they were basically like repeating the uh, homeowner, like oh, was, like a homeowner came out and killed two people. And he's a homeowner. What? What? Who describes someone? Oh yeah, that's my that's my buddy. Uh, you know, you know, Rod Sod. Yeah. What? It, well, what, tell me about Rod. Oh yeah, he's a homeowner. Like, who describes people like that? Like, that's my like. Like, oh yeah, no, he's a homeowner and he's a machinist. Like, again, that's strange way to describe human beings. The forty-something-year-old homeowner. What is them being a home? <laughs> like what? That okay. Um, and that he was a homeowner and didn't have a political affiliations. Both of those are wrong. Ben Smith goes by Polly Bun. He caught Furry's attention for his anti-Semitism, Nazi sympathies, and desire for Proud Boys to do mass shooting like he ended up carrying out. He was in a free fur all for being, you know, F U R chat that was being called Nazi Con by anti-racist furries. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, you know, chat logs from him in these furry Telegram chat rooms. Uh, him talking about how Kyle Rittenhouse is a great guy and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
And so I have some other threads here as well uh, that are very interesting. You can see the only good communist is a dead communist, according to Polybun's uh, profile um, and other such things. You can see, again, there's another thread here. Uh, it's talking about the Jews, not so good. Um, and, you know, I've got a bunch of threads here. I'm going to link all of these as well. But again, fan of Andy No. Andy No is not, uh, you know, you know, he's, he tweeted a bunch of stuff, uh, then deleted a bunch of tweets. Not so good. Uh, and, you know, I think this is maybe the third mass shooter that he's inspired that has been documented. Um, and so, uh, that's not so good uh, for Andy. No, I wouldn't personally, if I were inspiring, if I inspired one mass shooter, I would probably kill myself. Uh, by the time I got to the third mass shooter inspiration, the fact that I, I am even capable of being in public and in capacity, you know, that would be a, a shock. Um, but again, Andy Noe is posting through it. This is his goal. He wants uh, people to think that people saying, oh, maybe police killing innocent black people is bad. He wants to paint them as terrorists and inspire people to kill them because he thinks that police killing black people is good. That's the ultimate point here that needs to be understood. Neo-Nazis, including Andy Noe, uh, in love police killings. Uh, 1,000 people were murdered by police in the year 2021. 1,000. That's good. Uh, according to Andy No, Andy No loves living in a police state. He is a fascist. He agrees with police. He agrees with uh, oppression. He agrees with murdering people. Um, just because they look a little different, just because, you know, they might have their hands in the pockets. Uh, that's Andy No's philosophy. Uh, so again, it's very important to understand these are the people he inspires. This is, again, not the first time he's inspired a mass shooter, and it probably won't be the last time. Uh, but again, uh, people have been asking me to cover this, uh, but I was waiting for details on the shooter, and I'm glad I waited because it's very important to understand that the shooter is a neo-Nazi, a right-wing freak, and again, inspired by Andy No to commit this atrocity. So 